So today we'll be introducing functions and what they mean numerically and graphically. So it's important to understand the idea of an input and an output. So an out input is something that you plug in and then an output is what you get out of it. So in a mathematical perspective, the x value of an equation is the input and the y value is an output. So the x value is a placeholder for any given input and then the y is what you get out of it after performing an operation. So uh, when we talk about inputs and outputs, we, we're talking about functions. So a function is a relationship between input and output and there's only one input for every output. But when we look at the example 2x plus 1, we have that uh, the input is x and then the output is y. So the operation performed for any input is to multiply by 2 and add 1 and then we will get the output. So on this next slide we're going to see uh, that uh, different values plugged in for x and then what we get for y. So uh, we know that the function is given above, so y is equal to 2x plus 1. So if we try our first input, so negative 2, for example, we have that uh, the function is 2 times the input, which is negative 2 for this first input that we picked. We could pick anything, but we pick negative 2. And then we add 1. So our output will be negative 3. So this is going to, y is going to equal to negative 3. So again, we can perform this for any given input, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2, and then we will always get one output. And, uh, and when we represent functions graphically, we need to think about like the, co the coordinate points, so the x comma y, input comma output. So in this example right here, to the left, we have a, a function represented graphically, and uh, we know it's a function because for any input, anything on this x-axis, there's only one value for y. This is the y-axis, this is the x-axis. For any x value, let's say, let's pick this one right here, we have only one value, this one, one y value, y value, this one right here. And right here to the right, if we pick any x value, for example, one right here, we will get two different values for, for y, one and negative one. So we know that this to the right is not a function because we have two outputs for y for only one input for x. And then now we're going to talk about uh, different parent functions uh, and parent functions. For example, the first one will be the linear function. So this linear function is a line, as in, uh, named in notes, and its uh, equation is this right here. So when we plug in any value for x, for example, let's 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 plug in one for x. So uh, y is equal to x. So when we plug in one for x, we would get y is equal to one. So when x is equal to one right here, y is also equal to one. So this point right here is 1, comma, 1, close parentheses. And this would work for any other input. If we plug in 2, we get 2, comma, 2, 3, 3, comma, 3. And we can see this right here, 3, comma, 3, and then so forth. Our next parent function uh, it's the quadratic function and then this function you perform a different operation to get an output and the operation is going to be squaring the input so we will be squaring the x value so if we're given the x value 2 for example we plug in 2 for x so we would have y is equal to the y value is equal to 2 times 2 2 to, to the power of 2 pardon me so we have y is equal to 4 when x is equal to 2. So when x is equal to 2, which was our input, y is equal to 4. And again, this works for any input. So when we plug in 3, 
we square the, the x value, which is going to be 3, so we'll get 9. So when x is 3, y is equal to 9. So we check this on our graph. When x is equal to 3, y is equal to 9. And it works. So now we're going to do some practice on basically identifying functions and non-functions. So on, to our left, we have our first example. So uh, we're going to check if for any x value, we have either 2, more than 2, more than 1, or 1 output. So let's pick, for example, this x value right here, right here. Then we only have one value up here. So we try it down here. We pick this x value, then we also have only one, va one y value. So for every input here, we only have one output. So let's check example two. So example one was a function. Now let's move on to example two. So example two, our first x term is two. So when x equals two, y is equal to three. Our next term, four. So when x is equal to four, y is equal to five and six. So this cannot be a function because for one input, which is x, we have two outputs for y. And this cannot happen in a function. So example two is not a function. So we can also think of functions in programming, so in a uh, language such as Python. So they can be modeled like this. So for so we, if we have this function y is equal to x plus 2, it could be modeled like this, where x is the input, and then the, the operation performed is input plus 2. So x plus 2 is the operation performed. So uh, Whenever you enter an input, for example, 5, our output would will be 7, because 5 plus 2 is equal to 7. So 346, 346, which is the x plus 2 is equal to 348. So for future parent functions, we will be performing different operations. So we have already gone over the uh, squaring a term, or the quadratic. So we know that for our quadratic, we raise it to the power of 2. And we'll, in the future, we're going to do uh, uh, the cubic function. We'll be cubing a term. So if we have the x value 2, we would raise it to the power of 3. Then we would also do the... Uh, square root function where you'll be taking the square root of a term x so the square root of your input and then we will also do the absolute value and uh, absolute value is basically distance but we will go over that in the future and that's it for now